Hello everybody, Eustace Farmer back again with an update for you. So you might be thinking, what is this update all about? Well, just briefly, and those of you that watch my channel, you know I don't normally do this, but I feel that this needs to be said. Um, first of all, the disc portion of Rainbow Dave's tutorial was wrong, and he thought he sorted it out. He pinned a comment down in his comment section on the video, and the information he gave out there was wrong. So there was some frustrated people in his comment section that were saying, it doesn't work, you know, what can we do now? And he's not giving support to the video. Some of those same frustrated people and more have come over to me and messaged me and saying it doesn't work and also had said that they are annoyed with me because I sent people over to that other video to watch. Now, addressing that first off, I thought he did it correctly. I don't own a digital download copy. I do not own the disc version, but he does. So I figured he's done it. He knows it worked because he's done it and it should work. But I should never take anybody's word for it. I should have reached out to some friends on Discord to see if anybody had disc version, digital download version, asked them to try it, see what happens. And inevitably, that's what wound up happening. My friend Rockhound PM'd me and he said, hey, I tried what Rainbow was saying and it doesn't work. You have any ideas? So I thought about it for a little bit and I said, just uh, do a space at the end of the string after the quotes and then put the code in. And he did and boom, what do you know, it worked like a charm. So then another friend of mine, Chris Webb, PM me not too long after and said, hey, I want to do that trick on Farm 17. Do you think it'll work? I said, I don't know, give it a try. So he did and I told him the correct way to do it and it worked like a charm. So added bonus for you to those who are still listening, you can do this on Farm Sim 17 and 19. So I'm not going to be putting any more links to jump to. I'm going to go ahead and show you straight up how to do this in this video really quick. And then I'm also going to update a couple of portions of my tutorial that need correction. One of them I corrected in the last tutorial, but I really want to do it in a bit better way in this one. And then another portion, one of my wonderful subscribers, Frank Muse, brought to my attention and I looked into it and I figured out what was wrong and I told him and I'm going to put it in this video here for all you guys. So one thing to keep in mind is nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes, especially as YouTubers, even during videos and tutorials. Sometimes we make mistakes. There's a lot to think about and a lot to do. Sometimes if you're tired, there's a whole host of excuses. But at the end of the day, nobody's perfect. I sure am not perfect. But when I do make a mistake, I own it and I try to support my videos. So when I say, if you need any help, let me know, I mean it. If you need help, let me know. If I can help you, I will. If I can't, I'll try to refer you to something or someone that can. But whatever I can possibly do within the course of a reasonable amount of time in a day, I'll do it. So that's what we're here for today. We're going to make this right because I love you guys and I want you to enjoy this game and enjoy these enhanced features because that's what you came here to learn. Okay, so let's get going. So this is for the um, disc version and or the digital download version, okay? Now, I don't have them, but I do have the shortcut icon so I can show you what to do. So you're going to have to go where the .exe file is on your hard drive. And for those that don't know, a .exe means executable. This is the icon you click on to open the game. Now, on my computer, because it's in Steam, it's in this PC, C drive, program files, times 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Farming Simulator 19. Those of you that play on a disc or digital download, it'll be wherever you downloaded these files. Most likely your C drive in Program Files 86, and then you should see uh, Farming Simulator 19 after Program Files 86. I don't know for sure, but you can find it. I know you can. You can do it. <laughs> you're going to right click on it. You're going to come down to where it says Send To, and you're going to go to Desktop, Create Shortcut. Okay, let's do that now. Okay, so here I have my nifty little shortcut. Now, once you program this cheat into this shortcut, you're going to use this shortcut to open the game every time. If you accidentally delete it, you just repeat this process and make a new shortcut, okay? You're going to right click on the shortcut. Go down to properties. Now, in properties, you're going to see the word target and the, the box next to it with the target in it. The target is the location of the original .exe file that opens the game. So this is what your computer is looking for to open the game, okay? The reason why you can't do this on the original .exe file is because target is not available to you. That's why you have to make a shortcut. 
So you're going to go all the way to the end of the string and make sure you use your right arrow key to make sure that you're all the way over. You'll see the little quotation marks after .exe. Hit the space bar once. That's the most important thing to do here. I'll say it again. Hit your space bar one time. And now you're going to type in dash and the word cheats in small letters. Plural. C-H-E-A-T-S. Cheats. Dash cheats. All one word. Okay? And then you're going to click apply. And okay. And that's it for the disk and digital download versions. It should be as good as gold for you. Now anybody that has a disk version, let me know so I can really make sure that it works. I looked in the comment section on Rainbow Dave's video and somebody did it and they said it worked like a charm with the space. Okay, so now for the Steam version. Open up your Steam account, obviously. You come over to your Farming Simulator 19 game in your library, right click on the Farming Simulator 19 brand there, go down to Properties, and then you're gonna go to Set Launch Options right here. And then this little box comes up and you're gonna type in dash cheats, all one word, lowercase. Click OK and you're done. And then you're gonna have everything that I showed you in the last video and more. All right, so before we get on to the next segment of our update tutorial here, let me just take a second to tell you a little bit about our awesome Discord channel. Whether you're just hanging around bored or just need something to do while you're sitting on the toilet, why not join our Discord group, the Simulation Gaming Society? Eustace, let's get on with the video. Oh, yes, dear. All right, so now it's time to pick on old Eustace here because he had a couple of parts of his tutorial that were also wrong. <laughs> so again, a special thank you goes out to Mr. Frank Muse, one of my wonderful subscriber friends for bringing this to my attention. And I feel kind of silly because I actually did test every single one of these fruits and for some reason I skipped soybean. <laughs> so in the last tutorial, I told you to just put in soy in all caps. So after digging through the XML to see what Giants wanted, it's soybean. All one word, all capital letters, just like you see there. And last but not least, I did correct myself in the other tutorial, but I don't think I was still really clear enough. The string of code down the bottom there where it says make clean, that one is GS add dirt amount, the space, and then minus 100. It's all or nothing. You can't clean it in increments. So when you want to clean your vehicle, just put in minus 100 and it will also clean any implement or trailer that's attached to the vehicle. So here's all the cards for you to have a screenshot again, just like in the previous video, only the silo cheat and the add or remove dirt card is updated. So go ahead and pause the video and take your screenshot of these and you can keep them on your phone or your PC for a handy reference whenever you need them in game. So if you haven't watched the original tutorial, a link will be down in the description for it. And it's also going to come up as a little icon during the closing credits on screen. So thank you very much once again for stopping in. And I hope those that were upset with me are satisfied now and uh, we can get back to being friends. So until we meet again, please take great care of yourself, okay? And bye bye for now. Well, you should know by now whether you can stand me or not, so please consider subscribing by tapping my logo right above the TV screen. Also, don't forget to tap that alert bell so you'll have a warning when I'm at your door. If you really want to be awesome, why not give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends? You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. Thank you very much, and hope to see you next time. Bye for now.